All right, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Raul Cepeda. Uh, on behalf of Barcodes Inc. and WASP, I'd like to thank you all for attending our webinar today on top inventory management key performance indicators. Uh, we know your time's precious and we hope uh, that you do gain some valuable insights today into WASP's inventory cloud solution uh, that we'll be going over. We do have a Q&A feature available on this webinar, so uh, please feel free to send us any questions throughout the presentation and we'll address them towards the end as time allows. At this point, I'd like to turn it over to John Holycross, uh, WASP's channel account manager. John? Thanks, Raul. Um, I'm John Holycross and I'm with WASP. And the intentions for this presentation is to point out some of the issues that businesses experience uh, with inventory management and uh, some suggestions as to how Barcodes Group and WASP may help. So with that, uh, we'll get started. All right, what we're gonna review today is why an inventory management system is important, some inventory management uh, key performance indicators that we refer to in the acronym as KPIs. They include accuracy indicators, timeliness indicators, a few other indicators, and then at the end, how we could possibly help. So why is an inventory management system critical to the su success of your business? You know, a warehouse that doesn't perform doesn't stay in business. Basically, lacking proper controls for inventory levels, for location of inventory, cost, accuracy, it's going to greatly affect the service levels and profit levels eventually of any company, and it either causes them to decline, prosper, or possibly even fail. Now, poor in um, inventory management can affect your customer service levels and profits too. What I refer to as ghost inventory or inventory shortages uh, that cause back order situations, they lead to lost sales and poor customer satisfaction. On the other hand, a good inventory management system will provide you with the information needed to make high return on investment decisions. By having a real time access to inventory levels, and the locations of the product uh, for pick orders, shipments, pending, uh, they all equate not only to profitability of a business, but also to the lev levels of the customer satisfaction. Uh, in the proper systems there, you, you can put notification alerts for low levels of inventory and the ability to place uh, POs for replenishment of inventory, which helps alleviate this type of an issue. What is in stock? Be surprised on some of the answers we get when we ask these questions. Some say, I don't know. Others say, too much. If there's too much, you've got cash tied up that's gonna affect your cash flow. And you can't produce or purchase enough product that is needed. Just obviously causes the possible write downs for obsolescence uh, in your inventory. Not enough inventory, you can't fulfill your orders. You can't fulfill your orders, customers go to the competition. So the, uh, the accuracy can quickly be, be determined in a physical inventory uh, without stopping activity. So basically, it's not just the efficiency, but the solvency of a company. So the physical inventory accuracy and the system inventory accuracy have to go hand in hand. I'm gonna give you an example. An airplane, uh, airplane parts company placed an order for a very expensive part uh, that cost $20,000. When they went to pick the order, the item wasn't there. An engineer had taken that, that product out for studying. If the proper inventory control system was in place, it would not only tell you that the item was checked out, it would tell you who the item was checked out to, when it was checked out to them, and when it was going to be returned. The company actually did get the sale here, but they had to overnight the product to the customer, and that deeply eroded the profitability of that transaction. So it's just a good real life example of what will happen. Oh, sorry. Uh, let's go back. Okay, are you shipping the right items? Human error. That is the number one issue with inventory filling accuracy. By automating this with an inventory management system, you can decrease, decrease order pick times by a half and increase order fulfillment accuracy by 67%. Now, inaccurate orders and loss of customers. How often do you order online? Now, I know 
I order quite a bit, or my wife orders quite a bit online, especially in these times. And the time and emotion and pain on your end is similar on the shipping company's end when it doesn't come on time. For example, if you're told that an item is going to arrive in three days and it arrives in four days, you're not happy, even though maybe you got it in time uh, for your needs. On the other hand, if somebody tells you it's going to be seven days and it arrives in four days, same day delivery as the one above, you're thrilled because what they did is they set an expectation and they exceeded that expectation. So it's just very important here in the customer service and the inventory uh, management can help in that aspect. The shipping accuracy impacts the profits drastically. All right, if you move from a 99% accuracy to a 99.9% .9 or order filling, increases by 6%. Now, where else can you go in your business and have a 0.9%, less than 1% improvement, equate to 6% profit? Pretty drastic there. It doesn't sound like a big percentage, but it really makes a big difference. All right, our order's on time. On time, ready to ship equals on-time shipment, equals on-time delivery, equates to a happy customer. Actually what each one of us are trying to accomplish. And by maintaining these metrics is the heart of keeping the supply chain running smoothly. Your ability to track these metrics are important uh, as the efficiency of the business and the customer services comes into play with this. Now an inventory management system can notify the warehouse manager and show them a dashboard of all the orders at multiple locations. The key is to make sure that you have an inventory management system implemented that matches your business needs. Um, one company was able to improve on-time delivery from 77% to 94% once they started using an inventory management system where they could track all the multiple warehouse facilities that they had. How long does it take to assemble an order? Now this, this KPI, what it does is how much time is spent between the time an order is placed and the moment that it ships. Now the objective is to minimize the order cycle time, which is a pick, pack, and ship. The best in class shipping performance is same day, however the medium performance is three to five days. Now the, inter the internal order cycle is time from an order to be placed to the time that it ships. Now the total order cycle time increases the scope of the metric from the order placement to the customer receipt. So just two different metrics there. Um, on time shipment there uh, versus on time delivery. Which one you track there is really dependent on your business. So does your business uh, succeed more on getting it out the door on time or making sure it reaches your customer on time? Now the just-in-time inventory improves cycle time to same day shipping. So key there is to hold enough in inventory to ship same day. If not, inventory average replenished inventory is th takes three to 14 days. So, and the back orders do leave a customer with a bad taste. A little example is 50% uh, of a typical warehouse operating cost comes down to order picking. And that, more than half of that is the order picker's time devoted to trying to travel from spot to spot to locate it. If you can reduce that travel time, it instantly reduces the order cycle time and operating costs. So if you use the, the inventory management system for no other purpose other than improving the slotting and helping manage labor to reduce the cycle times, it will still pay for itself by monitoring these KPIs. All right, now, how closely do on-time shipments adhere to actual order time? So now fill rate metrics here can be evaluated to determine the proper inventory balancing, order schedules, and sales forecasting. There's a little definition here. So if you take the amount of order lines shipped on an initial shipment versus the amount of, of lines ordered, you, you divide the number of order lines filled to the customer request by total of order lines filled. What that metric does, it can be used to evaluate the to determine the proper inventory balancing, the order schedules, and sales for, forecasting. Here again, it's just another one of the, uh, the metrics that can be used to make your inventory flow and to be 
more efficient. The best in class is 99.8% accuracy with a medium accuracy of 98.3%. According to a manufacturer's business technology magazine, generally a higher fill rate signifies a better ability to meet sales requests, keeping customer satisfaction high. Now this best in, in class 99.8% versus the 98.3%, that 1.5% variance does not sound very much. However, if you're shipping 1,000 orders, that's 15 orders that you didn't get filled. Inventory turnover. Slow inventory has another implication. The longer a company holds onto its inventory, the more likely it will be damaged or become outdated or obsolete. So, you know, inventory turnover slowing, you got to watch out for write offs. On the other hand, high inventory. You've got good inventory turnover, it indicates a healthy and efficient supply chain. chain. It, it means you don't need as much storage space or equipment, which is going to lower the average holding cost and worker travel times, and in turn, it's going to increase your profits. For example here, if, if a warehouse has about $100,000 of inventory, um, or moves $100,000 worth of inventory, and they've got 10,000 of inventory, it means it's turning 10 times a year, which is not bad. Generally, they're looking for a six to 12 turns per year. So you're looking at 30 to 60 days, um, and that way it's, it's a good inventory, Inventory turnover, it indicates a healthy, efficient supply change. Um, it doesn't mean, or it means you don't have as much storage space or need as much of equipment, which lowers the average holding cost and worker travel times. Basically, it increases your profits. On the back order rate, how often do you look lack the stock you need? Back order target percentage? It's really measured here as a KPI of, you're looking for 0.2% or lower. Now, a high back order rate means you're habitually understocking, providing you know, subpar, subpar service. You're gonna lose business to competitors when customers go unfulfilled and are delayed. And once you lose that customer, chances are they don't come back. Now, in these first slides here, we've talked about many of the challenges or pain points. And the following slides, we'll take a look at how we feel like we can help. All right, you've got inventory cloud by WASP. What we do, we provide a pertinent tracking and metrics for all the areas to the left. You know, your warehouse management, your inventory, your manufacturing processes. Basically a large group of, of people that are dealing with inventory. And we also covered a lot of the pain points that each one of these groups establishes. Barcodes Group and WASP can recommend the software and hardware solution to fit your business needs. So why Inventory Cloud? For all the items that we covered there as pain points, anything that's mismanaged, misplaced, and missing inventory, it's all gonna cost you money. That's where Inventory Cloud can help minimize all of the above and that is the cost of you losing money there. So we can really improve the whole process with this. Inventory management solves. So what it's going to do, it's going to maximize your profitability. It will improve your efficiency. It scales up your business. So more importantly on that aspect there, if you've got 50 employees and you have uh, a proper inventory management in place, you can scale up without adding more people, more warehouse space, things like that. So uh, increase your, um, your overall revenue and your profit without more cost. And it eliminates errors. Here are some of the things that uh, Inventory Cloud delivers to you. First off, we have 35,000 plus WASP inventory customers out there and they're tracking over 150 million uh, of product out there. Um, two keys I'm going to point out here, you can read the rest of them, is the customers come back to us and say, here's what we really like about your software. It provides audit and cycle counts. Basically, that gives you the ability to conduct uh, an audit by taking a mobile device out to your warehouse, 
you can check the inventory, you can make corrections immediately, and you have a report that's going to track all that. So it's on the fly. You don't have to shut down your warehouse to do these. In addition, then, the min-max stock level. That is another key that they put in there is because that gives you the ability to set whatever the minimum is. If it's 10 or it's 50, the system will give you an alert that you need to order more. The system allows you to place a purchase order right there, track the purchase order, and receive that purchase order. And that way, it'll automatically reset to what your max stock level is. So those are two of the custom uh, two items that are really a key feature there, along with all the other reporting that it provides. All right, you can see the names here of some of the companies that use our products. Um, I'm not going to read each one of them to you, but please note that you've got software companies there, you've got manufacturing companies, you have government companies, and you have education. So it is a wide variety of businesses that this system will cover. So here's a few tips as we close out here the, the last few slides. is What you need to do is identify your company's needs. Now, Barcodes Group and Wasp can assist in that. Then you need to find the best inventory management, management system for your needs. With some of the things we covered there, you can establish benchmarking stats and ideas from this presentation. Uh, you can figure out where your operations need to improve. By focusing on a small set of the metrics there, that's how you can, you can set your goals. Um, identify areas of weakness and set goals. So once you know your new goals, take action. You can configure your uh, inventory management system to set the alerts to automatically let you know when action is needed. And when you look at the K KPIs, if they rise above or fall be below certain, certain thresholds, you can make the adjustments then. That way um, you can monitor results and tweak as appropriate. So. As you know, businesses never stand still, and nowhere is that truer than in a warehouse. One day, you've got a supplier that's late. Another day, you've got too many people out sick. Tomorrow, it's a shortage of products or skilled personnel. But by con uh, continuously monitoring these KPIs, your company can readily have all the information it needs to make the proper changes instantly. So we're going to summarize here. By implementing an inventory management system, it's going to help your company become, become more efficient, effective, and profitable. And WASP offers inventory management, both cloud-based and on-premise, to complete solutions for any type, size, of organization. Barcodes Group can recommend and provide you with the right inventory management solution for your company. Here's a primary goal that you have to look at is you need to identify a global supporter, who, uh, a support provider who offers reliable 24-7, uh, 365 support. It works with multiple platforms, whether it's Windows, iOS, Android, and services an assortment of data capture devices. Now, we have mobile computers. We have ring scanners that people use out in the warehouse where it helps uh, uh, people that have carpal tunnel, you've got heavy use scanners. And the one thing I want to leave uh, you with on this is the inventory cloud software works with most, most other scanners. So if you already have some systems in place, you have scanners on your own, chances are those scanners will work with our software. Don't get me wrong, we'd love to sell you a scanner, a printer, labels along with the software. However, that's not required. With that, I'm going to turn it back to Raul, and uh, any questions you have, please direct them to uh, Raul or the people at Barcodes Group, and uh, I appreciate the time and effort today. Thanks, John. Yeah, so, um, you know, John touched on a little bit about how Barcodes fits into everything, obviously, as a premier partner of WASP. Um, you know, different Barcode Group entities offer design, deploy, and support services that are required to get all these solutions, you know, implemented and maintained. So not only do we offer the hardware um, that, that's certified and tested and compatible with, with the WASP software, uh, but we offer services like integration, um, uh, building inventory databases, reporting, and then training to get your staff up and running. Uh, from there, uh, on the hardware side, we can, we can help stage, kit, configure, 
install, triage, repair all the different hardware, uh, as well as manage all the mobile devices with our um, mobile device management software. So our goal uh, is to partner with you to get you uh, up and running, and more importantly, keep you up and running with WASP's uh, inventory cloud solution. Um, at this point, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll turn it over. We have a couple questions here. Um, so the first one uh, um, is how is WASP software positioned compared to a system like SAP? Okay, um, those are two totally separate systems. So what will happen is the, soft, uh, the inventory cloud software will align with SAP. So they're two separate things, but they can run in conjunction with, with each other. So they can talk to each other, basically. Okay. Uh, the next question I have here is, um, do you ID and provide KPI types, for example, targets, minimums, and maximums for the various KPIs for your customer? No, we don't because we can, but it have to be as on an individual basis because each business has a different set of things that are important to them. So yes, we can help with that. Can I give you a broad line statement on that? No, we, we, we just don't have anything that's standard out there to say this is what you need to look for. Yeah, and that's something you guys um, can obviously work with one of the uh, barcodes uh, group entities here that you see on the, on the screen right now. So uh, we can help you with identifying you know, what's important for your business, uh, what KPIs are important to make sure that we have uh, tracking and reporting for those individual KPIs. So we, we can develop some custom reports there um, designed for your organization. And then the other piece uh, on SAP I just want to touch on is, you know, we do have a staff of developers here that uh, while WASP can operate as an independent software um, and is um, geared towards, you know, a specific warehouse, we can actually make sure that we integrate it with with a system like SAP or other ERPs out there uh, if we want to make sure that they're running in conjunction with one another. So we, we can utilize WASP independently uh, or as a standalone, or I'm sorry, as a standalone solution or in conjunction with your ERP. Um, we have a follow-up question. SAP can generate the KPIs discussed today. How then could WASP system be complementary? What WASP has that SAP, what does WASP have that SAP does not have? Well, it's specific to inventory control where SAP does an overview of a lot of different areas within a company. This is specific to inventory. That's why this is a piece for a company. Now, depending on the size of the company, they can just use the inventory uh, cloud as a standalone. As a larger company, it will be a piece of software that fits in within uh, SAP. Okay. Um, I got another question here. Beyond barcodes, do you have RFID products that can improve identification and location of high value inventory items? Is that talking about RFID, I believe? Yes. So do you have, does basically, can you do it with, can you use your system with RFID? Today, no. Next year, yes. Yeah, and, and just to, to add on that, um, you know, while, while WASP is in development, Barcodes Group does have um, other, other systems out there that work specifically for RFID. So if you have a need for RFID specifically, just please reach out to myself, uh, Raul Cepeda, or any of your, uh, the barcodes group entities here uh, who can help you implement an RFID system. All right, I think that is all the questions. Um, so again, on behalf of Barcode Sync and WASP, I'd like to thank you all for joining our webinar today on top inventory management KPI. If you have any further questions or would like one of our inventory experts to reach out for a free consultation uh, or a demo, uh, please feel free to reach out to your preferred solution provider on the screen. Or you can feel free to reach out to me directly via the contact information on the screen. Uh, again, thanks again everybody for joining and I hope you enjoy the rest of your day. Thanks Raul.